Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. Ugh. It's 8.18. Heading out on the road for the first time in a while, and it's brutal. Brutal! I enjoyed sleeping in last week and over the weekend, and I knew today was going to be tough getting up, and it was. Also, it's already 80 degrees, but more important, or more awfully, the sweltering is back. It's already so gross outside that, that I'm like sweaty just from freaking putting my stuff in the in the vehicle. So got that to look forward to. Don't know how long that's supposed to last. So two and a half hours to the first meeting. Two and a half hours ish, and I still got to stop and get. Definitely got to stop and get uh, coffee to go. Um, I mean, at least it's not raining. So I, I got to inject some positive in here. I've been kind of like nah, this morning since I got up because of all kinds of shit. Let's go freaking get some freaking road brew. All right, so bean and sandwich have been gotten, and I'm noticing a couple of things. One, yesterday when I filmed in the library, using the A6700, of course, with the uh, ECM M1, whatever, mic, uh, I had it on like the all everywhere, and it just sounded like shit. And I did what I could to fix it, but it still didn't sound the greatest. So I wanted to figure out, like, what the hell happened. And then I realized I probably don't need to have it on getting all the sound, because then it gets all the sound. So it picked up the air conditioner. It also just seemed to get a lot of reverb in the room. It just sounded bad. And again, because I don't do audio or video or any kind of editing and have no skill whatsoever at that shit, it sounded crappy. So today I have it on uh, like forward facing, but not, not the thinnest one because I found that that one sounds like shit too. So I have the widest field of forward facing, which I think sounds the best. I don't know, I'm not filming from behind the camera too much, so I don't know why the hell I did that, but, you know, I, I guess then if I'm in Pleasure House Point, then it makes sense, because then I get all the ambient, like, bird noises and wind and all that shit, and water, so that's fine, but whatever. So, that was number one, the, the audio sounded like shit yesterday at the library, sorry. Two, uh, even though I have this plugged in, again, it still starts to drop in power, uh, there's just no getting away from that, it doesn't matter what kind of device you have. Uh, tell, I always get behind that person in line at Starbucks and it's funny that she just drove past me. How do I know it's her? Because she has written in big thick white letters on the back windshield, big dork energy. And I, I like the past few times I've been behind her at Starbucks in line. So I'm odd that I'm behind her now on the road after getting Starbucks. Okay, anywho, so yeah. So I had this plugged in, but it's dropping in power since I plugged it in, even though it's plugged in. So I'll have to shut it off, of course, because I wouldn't leave it on anyways, because then it would get too hot. But I'll have to shut it off, and then it'll probably go up to 100%. If you don't start with 100%, the battery just drops, regardless of what I have it plugged into, whether that be a V-mount battery or, or the Anton Bauer battery or plugged in like this to, to the power. It doesn't matter. It just always drops. So keep that in mind, kids. And number three... I have like an hour and 20, I had like an hour and 24 minutes on this card and I hadn't filmed anything. And I fairly certain I removed everything from the card yesterday after I pulled everything off to edit. Because what I noticed is that if I format the card every time, it gets rid of like my, uh, like if I have face recognition, you know, like the first picture I always take when I get a camera or a lens or anything like that is of my wife. And then she's in there registered and then I took a picture of myself and registered it. But if I format the card, it gets rid of that every time. And I, you know, dumb monkey, I didn't realize that. I'm like, what the hell? How come it's not recognizing? And I'm like, huh, it's not there. Well, I'll take a picture again. And then it hit me that, oh shit, that's right. If I format the card, it gets rid of that. So I usually just highlight everything after I've transferred it over and I drag it into the trash and get rid of it but I don't think that's effectively getting rid of everything off the camera. And it seems like I should have more than an hour and 24 minutes on a 256 gig USH2 card. Like, all right, I realize I'm at 4K 30 and that, that that's a pretty big 
file, but man, an hour, like an hour and a half? That's not that much. Considering how much crap I shoot all day, and if I was gonna be on the road for several days, that just doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna have to look into that. When I get to the hotel tonight, I'll take off what I did today, maybe even cut a video, but I'll have to uh, format the card and see what the difference is. I mean, if I don't have facial recognition for me and my wife, oh well. You know, but it, it's like, I gotta start learning about this kind of shit because that just doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, we're gonna, uh, I just downloaded another audio book. The other one that I downloaded and was trying to listen to just was not engaging me. So I, I don't feel compelled to listen to it. Maybe I'll come back to it at some point, but I know what I downloaded. It's a Barry Eisler novel about docs. If you know, you know. So uh, I think it's an origin story. So I'm anxious to get to that. And um, it's very weird not having my iPad here because now I can't check emails and, and listen to videos and <laughs> do all the shit that I normally would do. So yeah, I need to eat my sandwich and drink my coffee because I'm hungry and I need caffeine. But two hours and 24 minutes to the first meeting. Let's go. All right, first meeting done. Now, uh, well, I had two hours about an hour and 45 minutes now uh, to get to the next destination. I got plenty of gas to get to the next location, um, but I'm getting hungry. It's 11.37, so I get there around lunchtime, and I think that it's probably gonna be necessary for me to wait to get there. If I recall, the last time I went through this area, there wasn't much except for really gross like middle of nowhere, uh, fast foody type shitholes. Um, and I remember stopping to get gas and there being a gigantic roach walking around in the parking lot. So yeah, I, hungry as I may be, I think I might just hold off until I get to where I'm going and then uh, deal with everything, gas and, and food wise. And then we'll see what happens. It is, again, really nice out. It's already at 88 degrees. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a, a 90 degree -er. It's not as sweltery here as it was in Virginia Beach, but it's still gonna be 90 degrees. What are you gonna do? All right, hopefully I'm gonna get there with enough time to do what I gotta do. I did get some traction on the, on the forms that I filled out yesterday. Uh, I got some signed forms back, so I'm gonna have to submit those today for sure. And, um, and then a couple other things. And I think I might try to get a jump on the rest of those presentations so I don't have to do them when I get back tomorrow night because I'm going to get back later tomorrow. Uh, you know, and I just don't feel like rushing. I don't feel like doing it at all, but you know what I mean? So I'll have to do all that. But for now, we got, we got an hour and 45 minutes-ish. So back on the road. Hey, kids. Okay, it is 10 after 5. I've been at this hotel for almost two hours. And that was after killing a lot of time before I got here because I got here too early to check in. So I ended up sitting in my Forerunner uh, on a three-way call with my two buddies. And we were lamenting about our uh, challenges with this job. Uh, and don't get me wrong, I love this job. But like anything else, there are challenges. The one friend called me um, pretty frustrated and, and he needed to vent. And then the other one called me and I was like, hey, speak of the devil, why don't I just uh, loop him into the call and we can, uh, we can all lament together. So that's what we did. Uh, and then I went and had a delicious lunch. There's a couple of things that are annoying me about this room. Number one, this janky ass TV hook up here. Now, you might not be able to tell, so let me move this way. Does that look straight to you? It's not sitting up there at all. No matter how many times I twist it and try to get it, it just it just wings over. So I gave up trying. I don't give a shit anymore. That's number one. The biggest problem though, number two, which actually should be number one, is that I'm on the first floor. I don't like being on the first floor. Why? That's why, right there. That's outside. That's a door into this room. There's a freaking pathway right up to this door in this room and let's see we're in the very back of the hotel where there's like nothing over there except hedges and shit all around and trees here 
So that means any schmuck can come up and, and look in my DM window here whilst I'm laying here all night doing whatever I'm doing, and I hate that shit. So I actually have it within the parameters of my hotel preferences and flight preferences and all that kind of shit. For hotels, I have nothing on the first floor. I, I don't want shit on the first floor. Unfortunately, apparently, that's the only thing that's available here. So I'm stuck on this janky-ass first floor room with the crooked TV. I mean, at least it comes on. All right, for now, let's just try to do something and get the fuck out of here. Okay, so it's just about 6.30. Uh, I've been on the phone with my dad for a while now. i to stop looking at the damn screen. And uh, he was in a talkative mood, so we chatted for a while. Now I'm going out to get dinner, but I also have to remember that I need gas, so I'm going to get gas now first before I go get dinner so that when I'm all fat and full and logy and stuff after eating dinner, I won't have to stop and get gas. And I'd rather do it in the daylight too, because stranger in a strange land. So now we're going to get gas and then go to the boathouse and see if we can't get some catfish. Okay, so that was interesting. On my way to dinner, I came... Obviously, I said I was going to stop in to get gas. Well, while I was there, there was a young gentleman... This is going to get really dark now. Uh, a young gentleman with two messed up tires. Apparently, he had swerved to avoid hitting a dog that had run out into the street, and he slammed into a curb, and he crushed both of his freaking wheels and shredded his tires. So he was trying to get his uh, wheels off to replace them in the parking lot of this gas station. Well, everything that could possibly go wrong for this poor kid went wrong. And because he had, I think it was a like a, a one of those Mustangs, it was very lowered. And he couldn't, he was trying to like even just get his like inherent jack under there and he couldn't get it. So when I walked into the gas station, Here's another side. I walked in and the guy was like, can I just say something? You look so fucking cool. Man, with the way you got your hair and the glasses and the gray and your beard and all that kind of stuff and your earrings, you look really cool, man. And I just wanted you to know that. I hope you don't think it's weird. And I says, no, I don't think that's weird at all. In fact, thank you for the compliment. And then as I was getting ready to pull away, that guy ran out and he goes, another weird thing for you here, but you don't by chance have a jack in your vehicle, do you? I said, as a matter of fact, I do. So I pulled over. And, and parked, and I went up and asked the kid, you know, what, do, do you not have a jack? And he goes, well, I just, it's really lowered, and I don't have anything that can get under there. And I was like, well, Slick, you're in luck, because I happen to have a low-profile professional jack. Still, was a tough fit. So I told him, you're going to have to do this, because I am not going to touch your vehicle, so if anything gets fucked up, it's your fault, not mine. He said, fair enough. Actually, another guy came over, and him and the kid lifted the car up enough for me to get the jack under, and then he jacked it up. He goes, dude, I, I can't even thank you enough, man. Like, that was so cool, and I really appreciate your help and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, I'm just glad it worked out. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you got your tires on there, and I'm glad you didn't have to kill a dog. He goes, I don't know, maybe next time I will. And I go, <laughs> I just laughed. I says, no, you won't. I said, because instinct made you not want to hit that dog. And that's why you did that. And that means you're good people. So we shook hands and, and went on our way. So it's later. It's 8.15 now because I was there with that dude for so long trying to help him. Dinner was delicious. I didn't have to wait. I parked. I went in. I sat down. I only had like three hush puppies. I wanted to eat the whole freaking container, but I didn't. And the catfish and the coleslaw and the fried okra. That's what I forgot that I always get. Was damn delicious. Washed it all down with a nice sweet tea. I did not overeat. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to lay there. That's it. That's all I've got for you today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.